So why do the tropics get the best of weather? They get the um, the wet season during the growing season, and they get uh, an abundance of water, just like we had this morning. The rain just stopped here, guys, like uh, 10 minutes ago, and I want to show you the difference that um, rain makes when it's uh, warm in summer something that we have that, that that is a luxury here where I am this is the uh, the uh, longan these are all the pots I, I have here right all the tropicals from the tropics not from a temperate climate now look how they reacted to the rain we had overnight and by the way we got 60 millimeters of rain that's three inches in only what six hours look how the the longan reacted within hours of um, this rain that we just got look at that of course in the tropics they're gonna have um, an amazing result with their uh, fruit trees this is the uh, the canistel or the uh, yellow sapote look how it looks it's not gonna look like that here in, in Melbourne where I am during winter time so a combination of wet and steamy humidity is what these plants want there's the um, custard apple Suriname cherry R2E2 grafted mango ignore all that <laughs> that's what happens to sensitive lilies when it's hot they don't like the hot they like the cold so in summer they collapse and in winter they they stand up yep so the only way around this is to create a, um, a shade a shade cloth but I'm not gonna go to that trouble I just let them work themselves out um, here's a mango the um, the quan variety wanting to fruit check out all the fruit all these uh, tropicals I'm showing you are in pots check it out check it out with uh, the rain we had then the uh, Rolinia Brazilian custard apple I just woke up like an hour ago it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning and I just had to come out and film this for you guys um, from all the rain we had so all the the tropicals are loving this this weather look it's still wet still wet this is the uh, tropical sapodilla grafted the green sapodi everyone's so happy this is uh, the Ross Sapoti. That's a um, small jackfruit. The uh, the one I got recently, Duradba Gold. Right? Even he's uh, got a little shoot there. See a little baby shoot. <coughs> this is the uh, Sawo Manila Sapodia. Yep, with its uh, little flower buds. This one's actually an actual flower, ready to open. Barbados cherry, sending out a lot of new growth all the way down. Mame sapoti. Nagasaki Wazi grafted dwarf loquat. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Sugar apple. Right. A couple of lychees here. White chi and uh, salatil. And the big boy, jackfruit, Kyogul gold. I um, put it into a larger pot 
few days ago. And I fed all these also yesterday, knowing that it would um, rain. I gave them all the dynamic lift I mix with mineral dust and um, um, potassium. All of them got fed. And now all of them got watered. Of course they're going to do great with these conditions. But these conditions, guys, we only have them for three months of the year. It's not like Florida, where they have it for 11 months of the year. They only get one month of winter there. One month of winter? Um, try six months of winter. And then let's see how these trees do. Well, that's exactly what I have to put up with. I have to protect these trees for six months of the year in a greenhouse or inside the house. Yep, in my bathroom, in my bedroom, in my kitchen. We don't get one month of winter. One month of winter. It would be great if we had one month of winter. Oh my gosh! Anyway, guys. So, that's what perfect conditions do for tropical fruit trees. You can see it with your own eyes. And there's a lot more out here. I'm just showing you the, the, the potted ones from dailies. These are all from dailies. Look how many there are. My investment in uh, tropical fruit trees. Everything got drenched. Everything. This is the Kerry um, star fruit coming back for summer. Usually drops its leaves in late spring, which is now. There's the uh, the pink. Hawaiian guava, also in transition mode. The bananas, of course, love this weather. Sugar cane, love it. Every, everyone loves it. Pepino, pepino came back to life. It was looking flat um, yesterday. Of course, the tomatoes love rain. Oh boy, do they ever! Thanks very much for that. And the zucchinis there, and the grapes. Everyone loves rain, right? I put down this uh, cardboard so it would um, suppress any weeds along the path here. All this is from dailies. The dailies boxes I've been getting. Put it to use. Right? So I get a lot of weeds along here. The sugarcane stood erect. It was leaning like that the last few weeks and now it's like this from the rain I didn't do anything the rain jackfruit four jackfruits that I planted um, early October right I mounted them yesterday with uh, mulch knowing full well what was coming look how I mounted them these are all cuttings from the fig tree that were sticking out all different sides. I cut them, cut, 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 and brought them here to the jackfruit. It's had a lot of damage from uh, earwigs and bugs. Hopefully it'll come back with this rain. The ginger over there, my ogul ginger, loving it. Of course it's loving it. Another jackfruit there. Another jack, jackfruit there. That one's doing the best, I think. Um, wax jambu. I gave these guys a lot of um, mulch yesterday too. And I got some stacked here to give them over time. I did a full raking of the garden. Black sapodi, look at that. That's the tropical look. You see, we get we get our rainfall in winter, not in summer. That's the problem. We get it at the wrong time of the year. In the tropics, they get their rain during the growing season. And you saw what happens. This is more sugar cane here, right? Sugar cane doesn't want rain in winter. It wants it now in summer, guys. Yeah, the wet season here in 
Melbourne, that's a Davidson's plum. The wet season here in Melbourne is in winter, when it's cold. Wrong time of the year. In-ground Rolinia that I planted last year is coming back. See it? So I'm pretty happy with that. Can't get the focus to work though, but it's coming back. Yeah, so wrong time of the year for, for rain. Yeah, it's, when it's freezing cold, it rains every day. Every day it rains in winter when it's cold. You know those cold six months? That's when it rains here. And the six months when it's warm, it rains sp sp um, sporadically, like today. Here and there, every week or two. When we need it. When we need the rain, it doesn't rain. And when we don't want the rain, it rains a lot. Perfect for wet feet, right? And that's exactly how I've lost my mangoes. To wet feet. All that rain in winter when we don't want it. When the mangoes don't want it. So, that's, uh, that's the um, Picketon. Let's see how much water is in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, of course. There's going to be water in there. From all that rain we got. 60 millimeters. Downtown Melbourne got 30. And out here I am in the suburbs, southeast. We got an extra 30. So that's 60. We got 60 mils, guys. Squish, squash. Squish squash everywhere I walk. The Kohala Longan woke up finally. Finally woke up. Very, very slow. Very slow grower. This variety. For me, anyway. Very, very slow. Hmm. Citrus. Citrus loving the, the wet. The fig. The little jujube I just planted a month ago. Look at it. It's taken off. The lee. The um, ice cream bean uh, seedlings that I put out a couple of days ago. <coughs> Profiting from the rain we just had. Watch them take off now. Watch these guys take off. I gave them a beautiful mix of um, compost and um, potting mix over there too. So yeah, everyone's happy. Everyone's happy with uh, the rain guys. The key word is rain at the right time, not rain anytime, the right time. The right time's now, the growing season. Not winter. Rain in winter is a death spell on um, tropical fruit trees. It's a death spell or a death sentence. Well, welcome to my climate. I'm just informing the rest of the world uh, what it's like here, where I am, because not many people know. Some people don't have never even heard of Melbourne, which is um, shocking. Never heard of it. It's like me saying I've never heard of Miami. Wouldn't that shock you? Wouldn't you fall off your chair? Well, that's how shocking it is to me when you say you've never heard of Melbourne, Australia, not Melbourne, Florida. All right, guys. And the reason I say that is Melbourne is twice the size of Miami. It's two Miamis where I live. Not one, but two. Five million people surround me here in this garden. 5 million, not 1 million, or 2 million. Look how yellow the leaves got on the banana because of no rain. We hadn't had rain for 10 days. See that? Watch them take off now. Watch the bananas take off now. Same with the ornamental ginger, look, yellow. We don't get rain during the growing season. And when we do, hallelujah. That's why I made this video today. It's a hallelujah event. Looks like the first mangoes are setting on the um, glen. I wonder which ones will stay and how many we're going to end up getting. 
So it's that time, guys. It's that time for the mangoes to set. We'll see. We'll see what we get. We're not done yet. Looks like we might still get some rain. Possibly. Meanwhile, I'm just loving, I'm just absorbing, taking it all in, what the rain has done in the garden. It's the, it's the highlight of um, gardening for me, other than picking fruit, of course. But um, seeing this um, from the rain is like, how shall I say it, in a clean way. Hmm. <laughs> Climatic. There you go. It's a climatic um, experience. Yeah, I just wish we get more rain over summer. That's what we need. But we rarely ever get it. Maybe one downpour like this every two or three weeks in summer. You know what I'm talking about, guys. You know how exciting it is when you see um, your tropical trees getting watered. Rainwater, not, not tap water. This rainwater contains minerals that are not in tap water. Tap water is dead water. It's just to keep the plants alive. It's survival water. Whereas rain is thriving water for the plants to thrive. Big difference to tap water. We don't want the plants just to survive. We want them to jump and thrive just like they do in the tropics. I showed you this Kensington Pride seedling only a day ago, right? And it was like sitting there waiting for something. And guess what it was waiting for? Today's rain. Look, look how it immediately turned green. That was yellow yesterday. That um, growth um, spur. That was yellow. And now it's green. Immediately turned green. In a few hours, guys. Within hours of this rainfall. There's the custard apple, or atemoya, also dripping with rain. This is the Paxton Prolific variety. Beautiful. There's the droplets of rain on the uh, black sapodi. Very happy. You watch this take off now. I'll come back in a week and it'll be like, see all these um, branches that have got nothing on them? Right? Watch them get boom, bushy. Rainfall, not tap water. Tap water just keeps it alive, doesn't make it thrive. There's a wompy. Wow. He got perky. And so we should. Six hours of non-stop rain. And it was light rain. Flutter. Like that. Not boom, 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 boom. It wasn't like that. It was fanned. Like fanned rain. It's what you want. The three latest trees I planted um, last week. I'm sure they appreciated the rain. Oh boy, did they ever. And I'm so glad I fed them yesterday. There's a couple of... Um, now, this is what I was trying to tell you guys. Where are the birds? Where are the birds? Look what the birds are doing. Or have done. My nectarine tree. Right? Look, I haven't put the net on yet. I'm going to have to do that later today or tomorrow. They just tested. 
Just testing. This one seems ready. Hang on. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> it's ready. That's why they knocked it off. Okay. The first stone fruit's ready. How do I know that? The birds. That's how I know. Thanks, birds. Thank you for letting me know. Thanks for letting me know that the nectarines are ready. I can always rely on you. When the oleander is flowering, it's officially summer in my books. Summer doesn't officially begin in Australia until um, early December, but this tree here tells me otherwise. It's oleander time, it's summer time in my books. See you guys, how nature knows best. Yeah. The wampy, not the wampy, the kumquat tree got a nice watering too. See how the leaves are sticking down? Hmm. I'm having one of the nectarines. Happy, happy. Happy kumquat. Next will be the um, plum cot. Let's see if the first one's ready. It's pretty soft. Let's take it before the birds do. I've got to put a net on this tree as well. All right, let's taste it. Mmm. Good. Not very sweet. Could have done with another two days. Mmm. Nice. Plum cot. Hybrid of a plum and an apricot, but 99% plum in taste. So there it is, guys. Rain, 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 rain. Is why uh, the tropics thrive and uh, you can grow such beautiful amazing trees because it's mixed in during their growing season which is um, hot 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 and rain 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 means durian jackfruit um, all the things that I'm jealous of that I can't grow here mangosteen and on and on right so that was today's video i hope you enjoyed it i'm wrapped that we're getting all this rain and um, i hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet we'll see you from the next video